Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome to the next video on my platform. My name is Sarabhati, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Professional. In today's video, we will be talking about the understanding the basics of the topics which we already covered in the previous videos, but we will also understand about the entities within the topic, how we can use them. So without further delay, let's start the today's topic. Here's a quick disclaimer from me for this particular video. Okay, so we want to talk about the we want to talk about majorly the entities in Microsoft Copilot Studio. But before that, before we start talking about the entity, it is where it is it is good to recall what topic is and what are the elements it has so that we can understand the use of entities within the topic management. So in Microsoft Copilot Studio, the topic represents a path a convert a customer can be taken while interacting with your agent. For example, if you just ask about opening hours of store or if you take an example, which we have done in previous video that asking about the appointment. So this is what your topic defines a conversation path. Now a topic can have two key major elements. One is the trigger phase and then the conversation node. The trigger phase is the words or the question that starts a topic. For example, getting weather status, opening hours, getting appointment, canceling appointment, anything which triggers a question or the conversation is defined as part of trigger phrases. Then the second key element which you have got is the conversation node. The conversation node is the response in the action that agent takes based on your triggering phrases. So with well-structured topic, your AI agent can guide user throughout the meaningful interaction when you define using Copilot Studio. Now let's understand what are the key attributes or the, the different options which you have got for triggering phrases, trigger phrases, and also the conversation nodes before we jump to the entities. So trigger phrases, it is the first thing to define under topics and one topic can have multiple phrases. So, and also it is better to use the short phrases rather than using the long phrases. For example, stores hours, when do you open rather than asking a very long sentence and, and putting into the trigger phrases. A conversation notes is the response of your trigger phrases. So you can have a send message like saying thank you, asking a question like asking, let's say the location, or any other other thing ask with the adaptive card conditions the variable and the topic management call for an action like uh, power automate flow or, or any advanced thing so these are the different options which you have got under the conversation notes so by now you understood the importance of the topic and the attributes and the elements it has it is having now today we will be talking about the entities in the copilot studio so entities in, in Copilot Studio. So agents uh, in Microsoft uh, Copilot Studio, when you define, so agents conversations use the natural uh, language understanding to identify a user's intent uh, based on what they input uh, in the conversation window. Uh, for example, if a user enters a text that uh, I tried to use my gift card, but it didn't work, and uh, the natural language understands helps you to identify the root uh, uh, route the user's topic related to the gift card that aren't working even if that exact uh, phrase isn't uh, listed in a trigger phrase uh, uh, it, it 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 uses that uh, it it provides or redirect to the correct uh, 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 correct is uh, correct topic a key aspect of natural language understanding is to identify the entity being used in that user dialogue. So when they ask that the, the, the gift card is not working, then it should redirect to the right entity to take the conversation ahead and think of the entity as an information unit that represents a certain type of real world uh, subject such as the phone number, postcard, city, and, 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 and so on. So these are your different informations which you are having. So Microsoft, Microsoft Copilot Studio comes with a set of pre-built entities out of the box. And these represent some of the most used information in the real world dialogue, such as age, color, number, names. 
and the knowledge granted by these entities allows the agent to recognize the relevant information from the user's input and save it for the further use so that it can provide a better response so which means the copilot studio has two types of entities one is the pre-built entities and the another one is your uh, the custom entity so today we will talk about these entity we will see the demo where we can see the custom entities how we can create and then we can also look for the the pre-built entities which are there in the system and how we can use them we will also talking about something about the slot filling within the entities and slot filling is a natural language understanding concept that saves an exact entity to an object in simple term slot filling matches what is input by a customer and stores it appropriately in a variable for example when asked for a category type the customer might select uh, confirm my appointment or cancel my appo my appointment in, and then it can redirect to the correct condition directly without asking the intermediate question that what's your what do you want to do for the appointment so we'll talk about this also and we will see in a demo that how the the slot filling works in in copilot studio when you are building an agent so let's move to the demo for this particular use case one of the thing which i'm using when i'm learning this this copilot studio i'm also a learner like you so whatever i'm learning i'm trying to share with you all so one of the great source of the information to learn this is your learn Microsoft portal and here is your entities and the slot filling in agents and it is explaining everything about what your pre-built entities look like what how you can check them and then how you can create your custom entities and then again in the custom entities you have got the close list where you define a set of values and then the other type of the entity which you can define is the regular expression like asking for in a pattern like for example a credit card or any registration number or any id so you can provide a prefix and then it can you can capture that in an entity and you can also define some synonyms while defining the the values so all these things are available in your, on your learn portal and you can use it you can even practice it to 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 use in your agents and and see like how it works okay so what we are going to do is that we are going to look at our the 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 agent which we have built in the previous video and the agent which we were building was the contest contest so health assistance and then we had the appointment one where we are defining different ways to book an appointment, reschedule, confirm, cancel. So all these things were defined. But if you remember last time we entered all these values here, when we added the phrase and then we asked the question, then we did this. But now all these things can be defined using the entity. So how do we use or how do we create? Let's look at that. So what you need to do is you go to settings, and you go to entities here and here if you see i have defined the entity called as appointment and i have defined all my options which i want to have it like new confirm cancel and reschedule if i want i can add the synonyms here so that when my agent is using this information they can also understand the synonyms and i have uh, enabled the smart matching for this so this is how you define your entity and the the close list and all those things so if i click on new entity so this is where you get the option of close list or the regular expression where i was talking about if you want to ask for a pattern or something then you can use the regular expression type otherwise you can use this the the close list type of entities here so once you define the entity you can save this and then close but now how do you add this into your node in the in the ai agent right so i have added a question node so if you remember earlier we were just defining this by here we were using multiple choice option and then we uh, we we created our options new confirm cancel and reschedule but now here if you see you are also having the 
the custom entities you have built and then apart from that if you see there are certain other out of the box like city color content all these are available out of the box so if you have anything relevant for your use case which can be used by this out of the box you can use this or else you can define your custom entity to drive your conversation or drive the path of the conversation in your ai agent so now here i have selected my custom entity appointment and then it is very important that you also select that what values you want to display to the user out of these uh, entities. So I have selected new confirm all the four values which I have defined. And once it is defined, it will ask this and then I have stored in a variable called appointment and that is my choice. And based on this, what it has done, it has just uh, created all those conditions and I have mapped all those values to this particular these things in the redirect one we already spoken about this particular thing that how you recall or redirect to the another topic and the triggering phrase which we are talking about is this or another one is which you if you remember we triggered a rescheduled one so this is if you remember we have defined that it should be triggered on the redirect so that's how redirect uh, the the triggering phrases works and then the different elements of, or your uh, conversation notes like question, conditions, the calling another agent, uh, call another topic, all these things works here. Now this is this is what we have defined. So now let's test this out whether it is working or not, whether my entities are working or not. So let's do this. Get appointment. Let's say I say which is my triggering phase. And now if you see, it is giving me, and you can also see that how my agent is moving. So it is also providing me the options which I have defined. So it has reached here. Now if I select cancel, then it will go to my cancel node, which is this one. So if I click on cancel, so if you see it has redirect here. And after this, it is going to the maxes, which is like, thank you for providing inputs. We are working on this. So this is how your this thing works. But if I would have used, let's say the reschedule one. So let's say if I again say get appointment, then it will ask me this thing. So I will select reschedule. So it is going reschedule. And now it is asking, going to this reschedule, th this one, and then it is going and asking the input, which is defined in this topic, which is the date. So let's say I would say 10th January something, I can put it and then it is giving me like which date exactly so i can say this one and then it is ending my topic here the conversation so this is how you can use the entities for your topic when you are defining in 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 the copilot studio now the another thing which i wanted to talk about was the slot filling so now if you remember when i put the get appointment it goes through the complete of my my topic and then but but what if if i say cancel appointment right now what the copilot will do is that it has automatically identified the condition where it should be redirecting based on the input which i have prompted here the cancel it did not ask this particular question that which what you would like to do like new confirm cancel or reschedule when i was doing the get appointment it was asking that question but now it has skipped this particular question and it has moved directly and it has understood that and it has ended the conversation based on that and this is what it is called as slot filling so hope you have understood about the basics about the topics and then the end use of the entities within the topic. How do you create your custom entity? How do you call that? And also you have understood about your slot filling here. Thank you for this particular video. Thank you for watching. And now I will be talking about the another topic, another use case or another element of Copilot Studio in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.